You can call a friend whatever you want. It doesn't matter if you just met them that night. It doesn't matter if you guys have been hanging out for years. Like, they're not gonna go up to that person and interrogate him and be like, Is he your real friend? Even if it comes to that, you could be like, Yeah, actually, I just met him last week and he was cool. I told him, Yo, I'm going out. You should come out. The other thing I wanted to say is that your friends can always be the friends that never came or that left early or they're lost. So it's like early in the night, oh, I'm here before them. Later in the night, Oh, they went home early. The other thing is you could say, honestly, I came out alone tonight. Any which way works, it just depends on the way you deliver it. That goes for anything you're insecure about, man. Anything, it's just about delivering it the right way. Like if I'm out alone and I'm insecure about it, it's gonna be a big turn off to the girl. If I'm a computer engineer and I feel like I'm a loser because of it, it's gonna be a big turn off to the girl. But if I'm an engineer and I don't give one fuck, the girl doesn't give one fuck. If I'm out alone and I don't give one fuck, then the girl doesn't give one fuck. Like, it's okay, right? It's just about the way you say it and the way you pitch it. So I'll give you an example. Where are your friends? Honestly, I felt like coming out alone tonight, which is weird because usually when I'm out, like my friends come out with me, but it was just one of those nights where I was like, you know what, my boys didn't want to come out. And I was like, fuck it. I could either stay home and be lame or I could go out and try to meet some people. So I was like, fuck it, let's go do this. And honestly, I'm so happy I came out. No one's gonna give you shit for that. You know when they're gonna give you shit? The dude that's fucking embarrassed that he's out alone. It's like, oh, well, I didn't like really come out alone. I don't know, is that weird? Is that weird that I'm out here alone? I, I usually don't come out alone though, I swear. I have friends, I promise. It just depends on the way you answer the question, man. It's not even about the words, dude. It's about the delivery and the vibe behind it. If the emotion coming off of me communicates insecure, uncertain, fear of judgment, I think it's a negative thing, well then I promise you the girl's gonna think the same fucking thing about anything, dude. But at the same time, if I can communicate it, confidence, this is normal. Actually, this is better than normal. This is fucking cool or epic, or this is something I'm really passionate about, or this is something that society probably gets wrong and thinks that it's this way, but honestly, it's this way, and I'm so glad that it's this way, right? That's like the idea of going out alone. The girl's like, so where are your friends at? I'm like, honestly, like, I usually go out with friends. Like, I, I, I'm not usually out alone, I swear to God. Like, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not the guy, I have a lot of friends, I do. I just like, I came out to, tonight because like, I, I don't know, is that weird? Yeah, that's fucking weird, yeah. Or I'm the guy that's like, honestly, I came out alone tonight. I couldn't be more happy. Honestly, all my friends stayed home tonight. I was like, damn, I could stay home or I could just like go out and have some fun and make the best of it. So I was like, fuck it. And I'm so glad I came out. This is an actual thought that I had. I remember thinking earlier in my journey, like it's weird to go out alone to the bars. I genuinely thought that. I remember the first couple times I went out alone, I was at the bar standing there feeling awkward and uncomfortable that I'm at the bar alone. The more and more I did it, the more I realized it's not even a big deal. And now if I go out to the bar alone, I wouldn't even think it's weird. Like, I don't think it's weird. You could put me on a lie detector test. I don't think it's weird to go out to the bar alone. Why? Because it forces you to be social. Like, if you're out there alone, you got your back to the wall, like, you have to talk to people. You're gonna be more forced to take action. You're gonna be more forced to make friends. Okay, so like, I don't think it's weird or like a demonstration of low value to be at the bar alone. It's about the way you answer the question and what you actually believe about it. And it's not just about going out alone. This could be about you being short. This could be being into pickup, right? Like it's okay to think that pickup and self-development is cool. Oh, it's only weird if you think it's weird. Like there's nothing fucking wrong with being a person that thinks to themselves, hey, social skills is probably the most important thing in the world that's detrimental to your success and your survival. And I know that mine's not perfect and that it's an art form that you can learn and it's gonna help me with my core confidence, my success in life, my relationships, and my dating life. And for those reasons, I'm deciding to get better at it. And I'm not ashamed of that. And in fact, everybody should probably do it. The guys that aren't doing it are the fucking weird ones. That's what the mindset needs to be, dude. If you would just think like that, like there's, there's nothing weird about it. You think it's weird because you think you're gonna learn some fucking weird technique that you're gonna go manipulate the girl and then you're gonna trick her into doing the fucking thing and then she's gonna think it's weird and reject you and it's like, it's like, dude, that's not how you fucking get good at this shit, bro. Like the way you get success in pickup is like you actually become a confident, cool ass dude. And that's how I view myself. And I was the loser and I did think it was weird and I did think it was weird to go out alone. And now I'll go out alone and think they're all fucking whack 
and I'll literally think I'm cooler than everybody at the bar. That's what I genuinely feel like. Not in like an overly cocky way, but I just know because I put in the time. I studied the shit and this is the result. This is just how you need to deal with insecurities and the way you answer questions. You need to get over the fact about whatever you think is weird and you need to be able to openly communicate about whatever it is. Same thing with approaching, man. If you guys haven't done a cold approach, the first cold approach is so nerve wracking. You can't even act normal. And then like you go through like 10 or 20 or 30 or 40 or 50 of them, <laughs> depending on how long it takes you to do those, that burst, and eventually you calm the fuck down and you could actually just go up and be normal. And then like fast forward months or years, you can go up and be confident as fuck. But you were that awkward ass dude in the beginning. You were insecure about opening. Literally, you were insecure about going up to a girl and saying hi. You felt like weird. You felt unentitled. You felt unconfident. You felt like you were gonna get judged or rejected. And you thought the girl would just like hate you so you, you didn't want to do it. You were very insecure. I made that transformation, guys. I did that same fucking journey, dude. That was me, 2014. Awkward as fuck. So you gotta stay with it, man. You gotta put yourself in the situation more and more. Learn from the past experience. Calm down. Take a deep breath get more accustomed to the situation and then over time it's not going to even be a big deal and then once you're no longer insecure about that thing you can communicate from a place about that thing that that demonstrates you don't give a fuck and that's when you'll get the success